anecdotally, I did have a support network, so I never had to go into like massive amounts of debt, but I used to make under 20,000 a year. I did pay rent, I did pay utilities, and I still lived on a vegan diet. But to put some math behind my words, uh, Oxford University conducted research on the cost of sustainable and healthy diets by country. The study was released in the Lancet Planetary Health under the title, The Global and Regional Costs of Healthy and Sustainable Dietary Patterns, a modeling study if you want to find it. They found that it was cheaper to be on a high grain vegan diet as follows. In 2017, 81 countries with 3.8, 3.9 billion people. This number increased to 97 to 101 countries with 4.1 billion people when food waste was halved, and further to 116 to 118 countries with 6.6 .6 billion people when combined with favorable socioeconomic development assessed in 2030, and to 129 countries with 6.9 billion people with a fuller cost accounting. By 2050, the combination of these measures resulted in lower costs than almost all countries included in the analysis. 144 to 145 countries with 7.8 billion people. So for the map behind me, the more green something is, it means the more affordable it is to go plant-based. The more red something is, the more it's not affordable to go plant-based. So in 2017, that top part, if you're in a green part, good for you. In the middle, 2030, if you're in a green part, go plant-based. And then the bottom, almost everyone is in the green, go plant-based, that's 2050. The narrative that plant-based diets cost more is usually pushed by people that go to burger joints and see that the Impossible Whopper it costs $2 more or Starbucks costs a dollar more for the alt milk. When in reality that if you're gonna live in paycheck to paycheck, you better be buying plants mostly as part of your diet because it's gonna cut down your bill ridiculously. Like 